Hello, my name is Princess Shingle and welcome to my YouTube channel. I will be telling you the 10 most important things anybody should know before getting BBL surgery, okay? You don't have to agree with me. These are my opinions. These are things that I have researched and obviously things that people have told me. Number one, BBL surgery is not a weight loss surgery. Okay, a lot of people think that, oh, I'm just gonna save up and go get BBL, you know, lose weight and all of that. No, BBL surgery is not a weight loss surgery, darling, because you are removing the fat from one area of your body and putting it at another area. You're not throwing the fat away. You're not getting rid of the fat. You're just taking the fat of your tummy and then you put it, <laughs> and then you put it in your ass. You understand? So that is not a weight loss surgery. Number two, a lot of people think that BBL is just the easy way out, okay? I get BBL, I lose weight, I don't have to work out, I eat anything I want, you understand? And that's a huge mistake that a lot of people make. The funny thing is that after BBL, that's when you need to work out more. That's when you need to waist train more. That's when you need to eat healthier, okay? Because I have a lot of people, especially my customers, people that want to buy my products, they come to me and, you know, most of the times they'll be like, you know, I want to have a snatch waist, but then I don't think I can be committed to waist training, you know? So I'm thinking of saving up money to go get BBL. And I just laugh. And I'm like, look, you go get BBL, you would wear waist trainers 10 times more because it's a requirement you have to wear you know waist trainers in order for you to heal in order for you to get your desired um results and everything so you after bbl you are required to wear waist trainers or body shape wears that's your fahas for a minimum of three months to one year okay when i mean wear it you don't do it like the regular waist training you wear it 24 hours a day you only take it out when you want to shower but you have to put it on 24 hours a day number three i always tell women that dm me dm my business page snatch by princess yeah go order for your waist trainers <laughs> but anyways i always tell ladies that you know come to me for advice because i give consult anybody that's having body issues or you know you want to work on your body you want to buy my waist trainers and stuff i give a free consultation to my customers and most of them you know they always tell me um okay so i'm gonna order for this waist trainer right now but then i'm saving up money to get surgery and i always advise them this is the thing I always tell them. Why do you want to get BBL? Is it because it's a trend? Is it, is it because everybody is doing it? You understand? I always advise women especially that make sure that you getting a BBL is something you really, really want to do. It has nothing to do with you impressing a man or you trying to get attention and stuff like that because BBL is not reversible. Once you do it, that's it. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, you are putting your life at risk. You know what I mean? Do you want to put your life at risk for a couple of likes or follows on Instagram or for, you know, for you to look sexy and stuff? Is that worth risking your life? Because women are dying every single day. Well, women and men, but people are dying every single day from this surgery. In as much as it sounds easy, it is one of the most dangerous surgeries because you could die. You know what I'm saying? So I always ask women this question, do you really, really need it? Because most of them, they don't even need the surgery. Number four, the weight gain after BBL. <clears throat> a lot of people do BBL surgery and after a year, you just see them and they don't look like they've had BBL surgery. You know, because they've added weight. Because after the surgery, they were not disciplined. You don't eat right, you don't work out, you don't do nothing. So yes, you will add the weight. Now the BBL weight is terrible weight, okay? Because this time the weight doesn't just come to your tummy. It's like the weight explodes. You gain weight everywhere. Places that you've never been fat before. Your face, your arms, your thigh, you understand? Your breast, your back right here. You understand? You get bigger everywhere. And that is super ugly. Now number five. I had a customer that ordered for um, waist trainers and the body fahas. She did her surgery, but then, um, so this is the thing with BBL as well. When you do BBL, most people get sick 
after BBL and you know when they get sick they lose a lot of weight now when you lose a lot of weight after BBL everything goes the butt the fat you put in that butt everything vanishes okay so this lady she lost a lot of weight and she was like look i want to go back for a second round which is go back and do the same surgery again i want to add weight and then go do second round for me personally i mean that's her choice a lot of women go for second round third round because the first time you don't get that desired result like the ass is not as big as you wanted your tummy is not as flat as you wanted your waist is not as snatched as you wanted so a lot of people will probably go to another doctor and do second round and if they're, they're not impressed with the second round they go for third round some women go for five rounds you know and that's bad you know what i mean because you are traumatizing your body and it's extremely freaking dangerous in the long run there is a whole lot of complications you understand especially if you're a young girl you don't have to put your body through that and when you overdo lipo your tummy will start having some type of bumps in it your stomach won't be smooth your belly button will, will look weird like you wouldn't look sexy being naked now number six research about the hospital okay research about the hospital and the doctor you are going to get your bbl surgery don't just hear word of mouth or maybe someone has done it it worked for them you'll be like oh i'm gonna go to this hospital no research about them make sure this is an authentic hospital make sure the doctor that you will be giving your life to because technically you are giving your life to this doctor make sure the doctor is a board certified surgeon okay make sure of that that's very 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 important because you just don't want to give your life to anybody okay like i said bbl surgery is very 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 dangerous and a lot of people that die from these procedures are from people that go to doctors that they don't know nothing about there are thousands of doctors that are not board certified and they are doing this surgery on a daily basis putting people's lives at risk number seven do not go for cheap doctors yep a lot of y'all are very cheap <laughs> you hear that oh my god if you go to this country the doctor will charge you a thousand dollars for bbl you know you go to like this colombia mexico people are dying every minute in those countries from bbl a lot of people travel to those countries to go get bbl surgeries by doctors that are not licensed but they are cheaper and women are ready to risk it all because of a trend is not worth it you need to know that this person is 100 percent authentic and you will come out alive and looking your best you know what i'm saying you don't want to come out looking botched you don't want to come out looking like an alien my nigga like don't go to countries that don't have no rules and regulations if anything happens to you they do not care there are some doctors that look the moment they're done with your surgery, that's the last time you ever see or hear from them. You understand? In fact, they're not even gonna let you stay in the hospital. The moment you're out of that theater, they wake you up and say, leave right now. Immediately, you have to leave. And whatever happens to you, that's on you. They don't give a damn. They won't even give you medications. They won't even prescribe medications for you. You will have to go get your own damn medications, you know? That's not a doctor, but that's what you paid for because it's cheap. You understand me? And most of these cheap doctors, you'll be asleep. You don't know what they're doing to your body. You know, you don't know what they're injecting in your body. Some don't even inject only the fat in your body. They will be injecting things inside your butt. You understand? Some would inject silicon. Some would inject even cement you know what i'm saying so a lot of women are botched because of cheap doctors a lot of women are struggling with their lives right now. okay so number eight bbl is gradually getting out of fashion yep two three four five years ago it was the ish okay like if you don't have bbl body you're not sexy you need to be curvy and all of that everybody wanted to go all out the bigger the better the bigger butt the better you know what i'm saying but right now it's gradually getting out of fashion now the people that made bbl super duper famous y'all know my girl Nicki minaj and kim kardashian chloe kardashian like the now everybody is going back to these same doctors 
to remove their fat, the big butt, to remove it and to opt for a more natural look. You know what I'm saying? So now people want to look slim and a little bit of booty. You know what I mean? They don't want that extra super duper booty. If you guys have noticed Nicki Minaj now, if you follow her on Instagram, on her social media, you see she doesn't have that gigantic ass anymore. She has removed it. She looked natural now. She looks like a mother and a wife, you know? She doesn't look like that Nicki Minaj three, four, five years ago. Look at Kim Kardashian now. She still looks curvy, but she has that natural curve now. Her ass is not super big. Her hips is not all over the place, you know? Her waist is not super, super, super tiny anymore. She looks like she's still curvy, but she looks natural. Look at Khloe Kardashian. When Khloe first did her BBL, Khloe's ass was ridiculously big, you know? But Khloe has gone to reduce it as well. Khloe now looks like a model. She looks slimmer and taller, Still a little curve, still a little booty, but it's not all over the place. So I just want y'all to know that if you want to go get your body done, make sure you opt for a more natural look. Number nine, do everything in moderation. P pretty much the same thing as what I was saying at number eight. Do everything in moderation, okay? Too much of everything is terrible for anybody, darling. You understand me? So just keep it simple and cute you know and number 10 everyone has an 80 percent chance of getting an infection after bbl surgery this could lead to you getting botched or having very very serious medical conditions so ladies please be careful do your research well and i wish you guys all the best and thanks for watching my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to order for your waist trainers i love you